This week we're going to begin talking about weather, and specifically weather variables. Weather is a summary of the present conditions in the troposphere. And if, in case you haven't thought about the troposphere in a while, it's the layer of the atmosphere where we live. And this is where weather happens. On page 14 of your reference table, we can see some information about the troposphere. To begin, the altitude of the troposphere is from zero, which is sea level, up to about 12 kilometers or about 8 miles above sea level and the temperature is going to decrease steadily throughout the troposphere. The air pressure, which is also known as atmospheric pressure, decreases steadily throughout the troposphere and water vapor concentration also decreases as you increase altitude in the troposphere. The composition of the troposphere is 21 percent oxygen, about 78 percent of it is nitrogen, and that leaves about 1% for everything else. About 93% of that 1% that's left is made up of a gas called argon, which means that 0.035% is all that's left for everything else in the atmosphere. Um, an air mass is the term we use to describe a chunk of the troposphere that has fairly uniform characteristics. Air masses get these characteristics from the land or water over which they form. In our reference table, we actually identify five different types of air masses. So a lowercase c means continental and that's an air mass that formed over land and that's going to be a dry air mass. A lowercase m which means maritime which means an, an air mass that formed over water and that's a wet air mass. So notice that each of these air masses has either a lowercase c or a lowercase m to determine whether it is dry or a wet air mass. Uh, you'll also notice there's a capital letter. Um, capital A stands for Arctic, which means that the temperature of the air mass is very cold. A capital P, which means polar, which means that the temperature is cold. And a capital T, which means that the air mass formed in a tropical region and it's going to be a warm air mass. Weather is caused by the interactions of five weather variables. And those include air temperature, which is the motion of molecules in the air air pressure, which is the weight of the atmosphere, air density is how close the air molecules are to one another, humidity, capacity refers to how much water the air could hold, and lastly altitude is how high above sea level the air is. So if we change any combination of those five weather variables, that's what causes a change in the weather. To make it more familiar, let's consider these variables as if they were personified characters. So this is Arnold the air mass, and he is a chunk of troposphere who travels around the earth making new friends wherever he goes, but his friends don't all get along. His first friend is Tommy Temperature. Arnold goes to find Tommy above the warm parts of the earth, like a dark rough surface that receives lots of high intensity insulation. Poly pressure in, and Tommy temperature don't get along. Polly does the opposite of whatever Tommy does. Polly puts high pressure on Arnold whenever Tommy leaves. So what we're really saying there is if the temperature goes down, the air pressure tends to go up and vice versa. Arnold's third friend is Danny Density. Danny and Polly are very close friends. Whatever Polly does, Danny does. If Arnold's under high pressure, his density also increases. Hugh Humidity and Tommy are very close friends. Whatever Tommy Temperature does, Hugh Humidity does too. But Hugh is kind of shy. He lets Tommy interact with Arnold first. So basically, uh, temperature and humidity both do the same thing. If temperature goes up, humidity tends to go up too. Um, however, sometimes there's a time lag between when the temperature goes up and when you notice the humidity going up. And lastly, we have King Albert Altitude. And the reason that he's the king is that when King Albert comes around, all bets are off. Tommy, temperature, poly pressure, hue humidity, and Danny density run away and do the opposite of what King Albert does. So that's to say, if you increase the altitude, the temperature, humidity, density, and pressure all decrease. So here is our weather variable summary. Temperature and humidity go together. Whatever one does, so does the other. So if you increase temperature, the humidity also increases. Pressure and density go together. Whatever one does, so does the other. So if you increase air pressure, the air density also goes up. Temperature and humidity do the opposite of pressure and density. So if you increase either temperature or humidity, 
um, the pressure and density will decrease and vice versa. The big except here is when there is a change in altitude, temperature, humidity, pressure, and density all do the opposite of what altitude does.